Hello, I'm Randy Cole, lead engineer here at Teledyne Hastings, and today I'm going to tell you about our new line of digital flow meters and flow controllers. Our new Digital 300 series is a complete line of flow instruments that can meter and or control flows over a wide range. The HFC D302A can measure flows from 0 to 5 SCCM up to 0 to 25 SLM. Larger models of the Digital 300 series can measure from 0 to 1000 SLM, 0 to 2500 SLM, and even up to 0 to 10,000 SLM. I have in my hands a new HFC D302A thermal mass flow controller. We have incorporated new electronics and embedded firmware, so users are better able to quickly and easily implement these highly accurate instruments into their systems. Also, we have taken this opportunity to, to bring the product line into compliance with the lead-free ROHS directive. The new line of digital flow instruments is based on the patented 300 series flow sensor, which has excellent linearity and response time. Now let's take a closer look at the features that make the HFC D302A flexible yet easy to use. The HFC D302A can be used as an analog I.O. flow controller. The analog signals are carried via pins on the 15-pin D connector. As an example, the user can supply a 0 to 5 volt DC command signal for the flow set point and receive back a 0 to 5 volt DC flow signal. In this scenario, 5 volt DC corresponds to the full scale value of the flow controller, which is shown on the label. In addition to 0 to 5 volts input and output, Teledyne can configure the flow instruments for 0 to 10 volts DC, 4 to 20 milliamps, or 0 to 20 milliamps. The 15 pin D connector also carries the voltage to power the flow instrument. The power supply is very flexible. You can power with 24 volt DC or the traditional plus or minus 15 volt DC. Note that the HFC D302 is compatible with Teledyne's single channel THCD100 and four channel THPS400 power supplies. You will also observe on the top of the instrument that two digital connectors are available. With the flip of a switch, the user can have either RS-232 or RS-485 digital communications. Now the digital setup of the instrument is easy to control by setting the toggle switches shown here. You can select RS-232 or 485, the baud rate, and the termination. You can also control the command mode of the flow instrument. In other words, you can control if the flow command signal is determined by a digital command or by the analog input. The status and flow LEDs are another new feature on top of the instrument. The LEDs give information about the state of the flow instrument. For example, when both lights are green, the user knows that the instrument is operating with flow passing through it as expected. If one of the LEDs is red, then the user should investigate the state of the instrument. Thank you for watching this video. For more information, visit our website at www.teledyne-hi.com. And if you have any questions, please give us a call at 1-800-950-2468. Thanks again.